So let's get to Chris Cuomo first. Let's get to that story first. Uh, so you remember he got originally Chris Cuomo got in trouble because his brother, the governor, Andrew Cuomo, was getting in hot water over sexual harassment charges. And so he decided to help his brother. He took part in strategy calls advising his brother, the New York governor, on how to respond to sexual harassment. You know, I, first of all, I just, I just want to say I think it's terrible that they call him, that the Internet trolls call Chris Cuomo Fredo. If, if anything, he's more of a Luigi, right, who, who backs up his brother, Super Mario, while he harasses the princess. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, one of the network, Cuomo, one of the network's top stars, joined a series of conference calls that included a Democrat governor, his top aide, his communications team, lawyers, and a number of his outsiders. By the cable news anchor, encouraged his brother to take a defiant position and not resign from the governor's office. At one point, he used the phrase cancel culture as a reason to hold firm in the face of allegations. CNN said uh, Cuomo will not be disciplined for that. I like that he, he advised his brother to take a Defiant position and not resign. He even gave his brother an orange bracelet that said, what would Trump do? <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. He just helped strategize way to discredit his brother's accusers. He didn't really give him the app. Sorry, ladies, it's called me too, not you too. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so they didn't discipline him for any of that. Chris Cuomo was not disciplined for that from CNN. None of that. That was all okie dokie. And then he, uh, here's the Brian Seltzer. Uh, <laughs> he went on uh, this guy's show, Stephen Colbert's show, and Stephen Colbert actually busted his balls a little bit about it. Well, listen to this. In a small way, your network is involved in this story because, of course, the governor's brother, Chris Cuomo, has his show, The Cuomo Zone, on... Uh, is that what it's, it's called? I don't remember what it's called, but The Cuomo, Cuomo Zone. Cuomo Prime Time. Cuomo Prime, three, 360 Cuomos, and... <laughs> And he, the New York Times, has just reported, a report just dropped because it had been alleged that he was helping his brother with his, you know, his communications team. New York Times is reporting that that's true. Chris was helping his brother. What's, how does that create any conflict over at CNN? Behind closed doors, are people mad at him or is he, is he in trouble? Some people are mad at him. By the way, I can confirm the New York Times report. I'll, I'll confirm it for your viewers. I also have a source that says Chris was on the phone with his brother this week. Is your source Chris him. Cuomo? He is not. He is not. You got to have boundaries. You got to draw a line. Why? Since he doesn't. When? Uh, I think he does, actually. Really? I think Chris does. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Why? He does it. Why do you got to have boundaries? Chris goes, and then he just pretends he does. He just goes into defending him. I don't know about the governor. What are the boundaries? What are the boundaries? The boundary that, that CNN management presented to him in May when, when they admitted he screwed up. They said, yeah. you know, what you did was inappropriate. I like how they say screwed up. When they admitted what he did, he screwed up. Oh, yeah, he put the tire on backwards. That's, that's a screw-up, okay? He forgot to carry the one. That's a screw-up. Someone intentionally sitting in on calls as an anchor of the CNN show and then helping to strategize him to discredit his accusers is uh, crossing a line. I would think huge, huge line. You would think just him interviewing his brother when he's governor in a highly content we're in a situation where his brother was killing old people. He's the one interviewing his brother while his brother is sending people to their COVID death back in uh, retirement homes, nursing homes. And here he is pretending that Chris Cuomo somehow, somehow is a good guy. I mean, he just screwed up. He just screwed up. That wasn't a screw up. That's not a mistake. That was something he did willfully, consciously, and wanted to do it. You were on the phone with your brother's aides advising them on what to do, and that was inappropriate. But they said, of course you're going to talk to your brother. You know, there's nothing more important. But he didn't talk about more. his brother once the trouble started. He That's said, I'm right. not going to talk about my brother. And that was also a management ruling. And so the but way why didn't I they rule this? that way when his brother was on the show pretty much every night uh, during the yeah, COVID crisis? I think it's really that complicated. That seems like an it's really, <laughs> conflict. I think it's really complicated. <laughs> yeah, the media critic thinks it's really complicated. <laughs> the rules. It is an odd conflict, but I don't think uh, if we open up the journalism ethics book, there's no page for this. It's the, the craziest set of circumstances you oh, can really? imagine. There's no page for... 
a brother shouldn't interview his other brother who's a superpower, the governor of New York State, while, while he's doing nefarious stuff and sending old people to their COVID death, he shouldn't be interviewing him? Right, a governor and a brother, both in these high-profile jobs. Uh, this was definitely awkward for CNN, though. Sure. I, I tried to go into... Really? So you would have, if it was the New York Times, they would send Chris Cuomo to go do a story on Andrew Cuomo, his brother, as governor? That would be okay? They would put a front-page story up written by his brother? That wouldn't seem stupid and unethical and wildly unprofessional to anybody? Of course it would. But at CNN, who gives a shit? We're going to have a brother do a story on his brother who's a super powerful guy. We're going to have him do it every night. Thinking, okay, if I was going to cover this at CBS, how would I cover it? And try to cover it the same way. And I talked to a lot of sources at CNN. Some said, yeah, this is really weird. I'm ticked off at Chris. Others said, you know, I understand. You can't pick Yeah, you can't really. Yeah, it's okay. Well, guess what? So he didn't get fired for that or suspended. And then Chris Cuomo went on to, to fake his COVID quarantine. Chris Cuomo airs moments he could finally emerge from his basement. So that was this big TV sensational moment. He's finally coming out of his basement in quarantine. He's finally coming out, and he videotaped it. And he did that, though, a week after he had actually left the basement. <laughs> Isn't that something? Hey, hey Chris. Uh, I think it, maybe it's time for another fake time out in the basement for a while. And this time, don't fake come upstairs until you fake thought about what you did and are truly fake sorry. <laughs> you want to see him? Here, here it is. Here's the, here's the video. We had a huge day today in Casa Cuomo. Take a look at this. All right, here it is. The official reentry from the basement. Cleared by CDC. A little sweaty. Just worked out. It happens. This is what I've been dreaming of, literally for weeks. This is the dream, just to be back up here doing... Isn't it weird that his, his family doesn't seem overexcited to see him? He's been in the basement for two weeks, and his family doesn't seem overexcited to see him. You know why? Because he's been out of the basement for a week. That's why. He's doing this as a news segment on CNN, completely manufactured, phony, bogus segment. He didn't get fired for this. This is completely made up. Things. Completely made up. <laughs> he launched a completely fake story. <laughs> and he did not, nobody even talks about this. Uh, during the first two months of his pandemic, Cuomo interviewed his brother on air a number of times. It was a hit with viewers. It was a hit with viewers, although it violated CNN's policy of not having Cuomo report on his brother. Then a specific policy about just him doing this oh so it's almost in a handbook it's yes they had a specific policy about him not it's not complicated as brian seltzer says it's not complicated you fucking liar <laughs> <laughs> and they say they're better than fox news at cnn that's the joke that's the funniest thing uh fox news actually every once in a while does something anti-establishment every once in a while <laughs> cnn never does Although it violated CNN's policy of not having Cuomo report on his brother and was a programming choice that has grown worse with time and in additional revelations. Uh, now, there's where I think the AP, because that's where that comes from. I think they're being unfair. It, it hasn't grown worse with time and new revelations. It was absolutely repulsive when it happened with no revelations. It was already horrible. Um. So they had so he was violating that policy. No one gave a shit. Why? Because it was getting good ratings. It was a hit with viewers. So they let him violate their ethics policy that was specifically <laughs> written for him. They let him do it because it was a hit. No one cares. But Trump is the bad guy. Fox News. They're fantastic over at CNN. So finally. CNN is suspending Chris Cuomo for helping his brother in the scandal. So this is what happened. Chris Cuomo previously acknowledged talking to his brother and offering advice when the governor faced harassment charges, but the information released Monday 
revealed far more details about what exactly Chris Cuomo did. Andrew Cuomo resigned in August to avoid a, a likely impeachment trial. That's why he resigned. Um, by the way, can I tell you, when, when he was interviewing his brother all those times, they would do those comedy bits, like the, with the, remember the big Q-tip? Remember the big Q-tip yep. thing? Uh, the Simpsons mockingly, they the Sim, mockingly uh, did a, a, a sketch like that to make fun of SNL. They did, no kidding, they did a giant Q-tip bit. Uh, they were, the, where Simpsons did it where they were mocking SNL, where Krusty did, Krusty the Cloud did a sketch called The Big Ear Family. <laughs> and held up a giant Q-tip. And the joke was, imagine the shittiest idea for a sketch possible. And then SNL literally, and then they literally did, the, I mean, then Andrew Cuomo literally did that bit, unironically, with his brother Chris Cuomo, <laughs> even though The Simpsons had already mocked it. Uh, and did you know that several of Cuomo's harassment victims have openly stated that watching the Cuomo boys attempt a sketch comedy was literally the most uncomfortable experience they've ever had at work? I mean, I assume. I didn't bother to verify this or anything. It's, I, I, I studied journalism at Columbia. Okay. Uh, so, all right. So they're finally getting rid of them. Text, text messages between the CNN journalist, meaning Chris Cuomo, and top Cuomo aide, Melissa DeRosa, show that Chris Cuomo offered to draft statements for his brother to use to deny misconduct, demanded more influence over the strategy, and even researched potential news coverage and accusers for the governor's office. So he's doing a little research, a little oppo research for his brother while he's the host of a primetime news show on the most trusted name in news, CNN. Uh-huh. So... He even said, please let me help with the prep. Doesn't he sound like Fredo at that moment? He really, uh, I'm smart. I can help. I can do things. Please let me help with the prep. Come on, Mikey. <laughs> let me help with the prep. Doesn't that, that what yes. that sound like? I'm smart and I want to help with the prep. <laughs> I'm not dumb. Not like everybody says. I'm smart and I want to help with the prep. <laughs> okay. Uh, on another occasion, the younger Cuomo texted DeRosa that he needed all the best facts for reporters who can do it. Uh, Chris Cuomo also appeared to use his journalistic connections to gather information for the governor's team. Well, what do you mean? What did he do? He fielded questions from DeRosa for intel on the then unpublished investigative story by the New Yorker writer Ronan Farrow and information about a rumor that more accusers were about to come forward on March 7th. So he, so he was using his connections inside journalism -y to uh, get some inside scoop before the stuff got printed so they could brace for it and strategize. And on it, Cuomo responded to the second request. About 40 minutes later, he wrote back, no one has heard that yet. So they asked him about, there, are there more accusers coming out? And he's like, I'm on it. I'll go check. And he's not, nope, nobody's heard that yet in the news department. The messages deepen questions about whether Chris Cuomo, one of CNN's, it deepens questions about whether Chris Cuomo, one of the CNN star anchors, crossed lines in his advocacy for his brother and mis misused his position as a prominent cable television anchor. It certainly does deepen, quest deepen questions. Okay. I mean, Chris Cuomo told investigators that he did not adequately, he didn't adequately protect himself that's what i like he didn't adequately protect himself in the course of advising his brother his only focus he said was how do i protect my family how do i help protect him i don't care if i lose my job i don't care about me he says he says probably should have been thinking more about how i protect myself which just never occurred to me so selfless. He's so selfless. He's so, this guy's got no ego. If there's anybody with a gigantic narcissistic personality ego disorder, it's Chris Cuomo. 
He's six three. Um, guess at like what? Guess how I know? He tells me. <laughs> but that's the problem. See, there's the problem. Chris Cuomo wasn't being self centered enough, Steph. It's only if only he would have taken some extra private basement time for self care. Instead, trying to save the world all the time. He's like Batman if his Joker were credible accusations against his shitbag brother. And he was also lying about being in the Batcave for three weeks. That's, that's, that's what it's like. But the CNN anchor also said that he had a practice of deleting text messages and emails after reading them to prevent being hacked and having the sensitive content on his message released publicly. In March 10th message to DeRosa, he urged her to delete the thread now. I bet he did. I bet he did. CNN suspended Chris Cuomo for colluding with his brother on a PR strategy to discredit Andrew's victims and save his political career. Can you believe this is what passes for journalism in the mainstream media? That's from the Gravel Institute. Is CNN suspended Chris Cuomo for colluding. Isn't it funny how often these people are guilty of collusion that they claim Trump was doing? Isn't that kind of funny? I think it's funny. <laughs> Reminder that CNN fired three employees for being unvaccinated, but continue to stand by Chris Cuomo and Jeffrey Tubin. Well, I don't, I don't know how much they're standing by Chris Cuomo anymore. He's been suspended indefinitely. Uh, Chris Cuomo helped his brother cover up his role in the deaths of thousands of elderly New Yorkers, and no one at CNN had a problem with it. Yeah, I forgot Andrew Cuomo killed the elderly, and that's the least big part of this story. Isn't yeah. that funny? And he didn't have to step down for killing the elderly, and he just, Chris Cuomo doesn't have to step down for giving cover for his brother while he was doing it. They have to step down for the stupidest of shit um but it, like this is what it took it takes a sex scandal that's like the only thing that'll really take you down but it didn't take bill clinton down but they did impeach him so uh i can't i can't believe cnn They're the most trusted name in news. What's next? We're going to find out that the billionaire giving pledge is a crock of shit? I don't know. Well, now Jeffrey Tubin doesn't sound so bad, does he? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Jeffrey Tubin doesn't sound so bad. He's, a pussycat. He's just a guy who didn't know how to exit a Zoom meeting properly. <laughs> that was his crime. <laughs> he didn't know how to do that. He didn't know how to make himself uncamered. Okay, so there's the Chris Cuomo, and I think it's fantastic uh, that finally one of his lies he has to he has to at least own. He's not owning up to it. He's he's saying how it was, you know, he's too selfless. So there you go. There's Chris Cuomo finally suspended indefinitely, and you know CNN is a joke. Their media critic is a joke. That Brian Stel Seltzer Seltzer, they're they're all. Brian Seltzer is the guy who says with a straight face that ratings don't matter at CNN <laughs> and that he doesn't want the media critic doesn't know who even advertises on his show. And he says both those things as if they're some kind of badge of honor instead of a badge of moronic is <laughs> Hey, we're doing live stand-up shows in Los Angeles, December 3rd, 10th, and 17th. Every The first three Fridays in December in Studio City at Two Roads Theater. If you're in Los Angeles area, see you there.